Today's video is sponsored by Catch Co. The lures that we're using is branded by those guys. They're gonna be linked in my video description down below that will take you to the Carl's website where you can do some reading. For those of you that are first time buyers, if you decide to make a purchase, don't forget to use the code MDLR10. That's gonna allow you to save $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more. And if you're like me and you do a lot of your fishing purchases online for lures, tackle, gear, then I highly recommend becoming a member. That's gonna allow you to have up to about 30% savings on most of the items that they have there. It equates to just big savings in your pocket. Thank you Catchco for sponsoring today's video. We gotta level with this weather. It's really nasty. Christian took a look at his app. I took a look at mine. We have 60, or actually it's 90% chance right now and I believe it because it's coming down really hard. No matter where we go on the island, it's gonna be just a little bit of the same. So just trying to keep a positive mental outlook despite the nasty weather that has been plaguing us for the past week or so. Tonight there might be a small window and we can take refuge under the Causeway Bridge again or we can try to do something by way of fishing some canals and the the dock lights that they got out that way but uh, one way or another we'll try to get back out there but right now let's hold tight for a little bit have our window live bait in hand we got some croaker we're gonna hit up these docks for all of you houston galveston natives you know exactly where i'm at it's no secret want to set the tone for what it is that we're going to be doing today we got some live croaker from the bait shop those little suckers are expensive and what we're going to do put them on a uh, a little live bait hook try to get the smallest fella in here i'm not too sure how these hooks are going to work i'm hoping for the best but uh they're they're not the ones that i actually wanted to use those are on their way in from shop carl's i placed my order earlier this month but there we go right there that guy is going to go in here and we're just going to pitch these live baits to the dock that's it hopefully is that shallow I don't know how shallow it is. I don't have the fish finder on this boat, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. Let's get this first fella in over here by these docks and uh, see what we're gonna be able to pull in. Uh-oh, he's tugging. Little fella's probably not liking what he sees down there. I don't wanna leave him down there too long. We'll keep casting towards every section of the dock. All right, that first dock, no luck. We gotta learn, I mean, even if we have to pick apart every one of these docks that we got out here, I think the best bet would be to bring the autopilot because we'll have use of that hummingbird and as long as we got eyes underwater, we can see what we're working with. I don't know if these are deep or not. All right, this is gonna be the last dock that I'm gonna cast to over here. I don't wanna waste all my time, especially with the bad weather that we have on the horizon. We gotta take advantage of every minute that we have available to us. That croaker seems like he's on his last leg already. That does not, that's not good for the home team, y'all. I did not buy the bait where I wanted to because I stopped at the first bait shop on the way here to the ramp and I saw that yellow flag. For all of you that are uh, not familiar with the coast, yellow flags mean live croaker. And if the bait shop is flying that, then you know that they've got live croaker. I didn't want to take a chance to go to the bait shop that I like actually like going to because they, when I called earlier this morning when we were first coming out, but the rain stopped us, they said, yeah, we're, we're almost out, so you need to hurry up. And I was like, man, what if they run out? And that's what kept me from going to the bait store that I love going to because they take care of it. They actually filter their water. The bait's in good shape, super lively. 
And that's what I look for. I don't mind spending the extra money to pay for good quality bait that's gonna last you when you're out on the water. And what I did was I emptied the water that they gave me from the bait store and I put some of this cleaner water in immediately once we got out here. All right, uh, let's put this fella, I'm gonna put this fella inside the bait bucket and we're gonna hurry up and make our way towards, what do you call it, uh, the docks that I know are deep. Man, that was a tough, a really tough go, y'all. We uh, started way over there made our way to this dock and then come all the way to the end over here and no tugs at all a slight breeze i'm not going to curse the conditions because man oh man they could be a lot worse and i know that i think i'm going to bring my bait back in and then make a cross over towards the other side of the bayou and let's see what we can get over there oh look at that son all the birds yeah Oh, dang, they're blowing up, son. Oh, let's go up there. Yeah, let's do that. I saw that earlier, but I didn't know if they... There's blow-ups, like, right below them. We are in hot pursuit. I think there's some trout right out here, y'all. They are making it way too easy. Whenever you see them birds like that, well, there's no doubt as to what's going on over there. It doesn't look like specks, but they're, they're literally right here. I'm right on top of them. What it, is, then. it looks like Spanish mackerel. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's enough to make the blood get pumping right there, y'all. Just keeping it right below the surface of the water and then a strong twitch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that is so exciting. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Mine got right up to the boat. He got trapped around my rudder back there. Really? These guys, they're they're torpedoing my lure. Look at that. I mean they're they're just chasing straight after it. It's so awesome. <laughs> Whoa, oh my gosh oh they just busted off my lure how did that even happen y'all <laughs> it just ripped off my dang lure man so we'll put this right there i mean not retie we're just gonna cast right now but look here goes my handicap this is a left-handed reel because i'm trying to learn how to reel in left-handed because my rudder control is right there and I just want to be able to do this number, make my corrections instead of doing, this is the way I normally reel and then have to swap to make a rudder adjustment. I mean, it's so crazy just knowing at any second they can just pop off like a darn lunatic. There, just like that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm going to take my time. Oh, these are extra large ladyfish, y'all. That is a ginormo. My goodness gracious. Took my tail. Scuffed up my leader line. I'm pretty sure since they're schooling, it doesn't matter. They're going to hit whatever it is that we present to them. So let's just do that. Using the grass minnow. The water's pretty clean too, so I'm not worried about them getting a good look at it. They should be able to hit it. Oh! <laughs> I got you, sucker! Oh, please don't go airborne on me. My gosh, this freaking crazy monkey of a fish man son you is caught you ain't getting off you are not getting off look at that is that all you got is that all you got yeah finally 
Yeah. Get over here. This is some good bait too, son. A lot of people will take and cut them in pieces. Really good bait. Look at that. You freaking monkey of a fish, man. All right, let's get the uh, lure off. I'm not touching him. These guys are extra slimy. And I'm pretty sure nobody's going to go into the comment section and say, hey, take care of the slime. All right. We'll see you in a few seconds, buddy. I, I guarantee if you brought a kid out here, son, Hell, I act like a kid right now just catching those guys and seeing how many times they go airborne. But if you bring if you bring a youngster out here and they see that, they oh my gosh. Lights out. Oh, he got it. He got it. <laughs> I can't help but chuckle every time they go airborne. Get over here. Oh, there went my skelly. You freaking idiot. Get over here. Oh my gosh. Hey, 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 hey. Dude, what the heck is your freaking psychopath, man? Oh my gosh. <laughs> freaking idiot. He's trying to take me out lunatic let's check our our line my god i hope i'm recording that dude was a psycho okay y'all we've made it finally after playing around with trying to tie on a new hook we've got a croaker i was telling christian is the awesome thing about being in a kayak fishing docks is that you can get right up on these things and like literally get your bait right where it needs to be. There we go. All right, big fish, where are you guys at? I need somebody to just crush my croaker. Crush my croaker, that needs to be a t-shirt. Uh oh, there he goes, there he goes. I think that was it. No. My croaker was just scared. He was literally taken off down, diving. There we go. It's gotta be. Oh no, a speckled trout, son. Right up on the, uh, the pylons. That is a gorgeous looking one too, y'all. I need you. I need you to chill out. Don't poop all over me. Right there in the corner of the mouth. Let's get our forceps. Now we're gonna let this girl go. I thought we were only gonna catch ladyfish. And look at that gorgeous speckled trout. That bite is definitely slowed down. Uh oh, there we go. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. Probably a ladyfish, maybe? Yeah, my goodness gracious. <laughs> this freaking idiot. He's like, he's all over the place. Good. Well, there it is. He, he done got himself off, thank goodness though. That's the quick release. He was in the prop, he was in the rudder, he was in the paddle couldn't make up his darn mind uh, well it's good to know what it was that we were primarily into and uh, nonetheless still a great day whenever you can feel those guys just go ballistic on your your gear all we got left is what a uh, oh wait oh yeah no that's it that's all we got I gave Christian one of my rods I thought I dropped one inside the drink we got a top water that's what we're gonna work on our way back. And uh, I think that's gonna be a wrap, y'all.
Thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate your support. Catch Code, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. If y'all are interested in the lures and tackle that we used from the Shop Carl's website, that's going to be linked in my video description down below. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. For those of you not subscribed to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw, stick around for a little bit, watch some of the other videos. And if you enjoy them as well, well then I'd love to have you on board as a subscriber. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.